Hey guys, it's me, Happily Naomi, and welcome back to my channel. So I am actually sitting on the floor of the new space that I'm going to be filming a lot of my beauty tutorials and things like that. So uh, yeah, I, it's definitely a work in progress right now, but I'm really excited that I get to have my own space. I'm not filming like at the dining room table anymore and you can't hear my fiance play video games in the background so that is pretty exciting to me so um i don't have like all the equipment or anything like that but i am just going to you know just take it one step at a time this is really really cool and i'm really really excited and i hope you guys are excited with me <laughs> so in today's video i thought i would do a one brand tutorial and i am going to be using a lot of julep products so julep is well it's i think they started out as like a nail polish brand but they're branching out into I mean they've been branching out into makeup for a while now and I really enjoy their stuff and I don't really see a lot of people using julep products in videos so I thought that I would do it um, we're gonna be playing around with some complexion products and eyeshadows so without further ado let's get started I know that my hair is a mess these extensions are gonna be coming out soon oh I can't wait oh all right so Usually, I have been wearing my contacts for the past like three weeks consistently, but I've just been like super lazy lately and I just haven't been. Um, but lately, it's been over the weekend, I haven't been putting in my contacts, so I'm blind as a bat right now. <laughs> Alright, so the first product that we are gonna get into is the Julep Cushion Complexion. This is, I believe, this is gonna, I think this is supposed to be a concealer. Um, but, um, I'm going to be using it as a foundation today. So this is the 5-in-1 Skin Perfector with Turmeric, and it is supposed to conceal, correct, illuminate, blur, and brighten with this effortless multitasking stick. And you're supposed to twist it up, so there's a cap on here. I, you can see that, like, I wanted to see if the color was mine. I'm using the shade Nutmeg, the, the number 410, and um, it comes with this little spongy applicator, and then you, like, twist it up. So, first, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a brush. I'm using this Julep Blush Brush in order to work in the product into my skin. Okay, so I'm going to twist this. So now that I have that applied to my face, I'm going to blend it in. It has a certain smell to it. This is my first time using the product. I just got it in my last... Um, julep box like I was able to choose this one and this product doesn't release until August I believe but I was able to add it to my box Okay, so right off the bat, I really like how this blends into the skin. And I don't know if this is just like a placebo, and I'm just thinking because it has turmeric in it, it's like brightening my skin, but I just feel like my skin has like a little bit of a glow to it, and that's really pretty. It 
it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin right now. So now that we have the base, I don't have a lighter one to like highlight with, so it's just gonna be a one dimension face for this tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the brows. I'm going to be using the Iconic Brow Gel by Julep. And I'm gonna go in with this first to just brush out my brows and kind of lay them into place before I put the product down. Okay. So next I'm going to be taking uh, the Don't Leave Your Brows at Home it's the all-in-one brow powder and brush and I'm going to be using the shade Rich Brown and this is what the um, well that's the color that I'm going to be using so uh, it's a two-in-one so you've got a brush on one end and then you've got the powder on the other end I'm going to be using this to fill in I also have the shade, I think, Cool Brown. Um, yeah, I have the shade Cool Brown. Okay, yeah, so I also have the shade Cool Brown, and I may use that today too. Not really sure yet, but we'll see. I really like using this brow product because I feel like this in conjunction with the Glossier Boy Brow really achieves a very natural brow or a very natural looking brow. So then I'm going to take that brow gel again, the Iconic Brow Gel, and I'm just going to set that product into place. So I don't have an eye primer by um, Julep, but I do have this Maybelline Precise Brow Precise Illuminator Perfection Stick. And it's supposed to help highlight underneath your brow bone, but I did not like it for that reason. So what I'm going to do is use it as an eyeshadow base instead. To set that, I am going to use this ColourPop eyeshadow is from the K-Pop collection. This is in the shade Crenshaw, and I've definitely hit pan on this because this is one of my favorite eyeshadows to use. So I'm gonna kind of go in and set this like all over the lid, but like mainly focusing that in the crease area. And for the eyes, I'm going in with this Orbital eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Terra. Alright, so for the eyes, I'm going in with this Orbital eyeshadow in the shade Terra. And it's a very beautiful, like, peachy, shimmery eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using the Julep Shader Brush to apply this. I really like the Julep um, makeup brushes because they're so weighted and the bristles are super soft. Like, I love these eyeshadow brushes. My favorite brush from the collection is their bronzer brush. Oh, I love it so much. So I'm going to take Tara and I'm going to put it all over my lid. Go in with 
with my finger because my eye was watering. I'm just gonna apply some more color with my finger. And what I like about this eyeshadow is even though it's like super glittery and very um, micro dimensional, like micro dimensional, multi dimensional, you don't get a lot of fallout, which is really nice. You don't get a lot of fallout on your face, but I mean, you can see like on the pan here, there's a little bit of fallout. I have this Julep Sweep eyeshadow palette in neutrals and as you can see it's pretty well loved and I'm going to be going into this shade here and I'm just going to be popping that into my crease as well just to give the eyes a little bit of dimension and I'm going to be using the Julep eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to take my shadow, dip it into that color. It's not a matte color at all but it ha and it has a little bit of shimmer in it but it looks so good on the eyes just so I can get a little bit of dimension So for the eyeliner, I'm not going to line my upper lash line, and I, but I am going to line my lower lash line. And I'm going to be using the Julep Wen Pencil Met Gel. And this is a gel liner, but in pencil form. So, hence the name. And <laughs> I'm going to be using the shade Ocean Blue. So I'm going to be using two mascaras today. The first uh, mascara that I'm going to be using is the Julep Volumizing Mascara, the Go Big Mascara. I'm going to be using the Go Big Mascara. And then I'm also going to be using this with a twist mascara. And I believe that this is, I want to say it's a tubing mascara, but I'm not sure if it's actually a tubing mascara. So it's supposed to help lengthen your um, eyelashes so um, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this on camera but let's see so I'm gonna twist it and look it's getting longer can you see that can you see that okay now I'm gonna shorten it can you see that that is so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the go big first and then the with a twist. guys to see this real quick like do you see my lashes right now 
whoa. <laughs> I know what I'm going to be wearing a lot this summer. I really like that combination. That's so pretty. Wow. Okay, that's really pretty. All right. Going to be rounding this up, finishing up really, really soon. So for blush, I'm going to do a combination of things. So I'm going to be taking this, um, what is this? This is Skip the Brush Blush Stick, and this is in the shade Desert Rose. I'm also going to take the Your Happy Look Pore Minimizing Blush, and this is in the shade Rosewood. And the Pore Minimizing Blush is kind of like a blush topper to be really honest. my bronzer I'm going to be using this ColourPop happy hour bronzer all right so for my highlight so this I'm gonna be using the so radiant diamond powder bronzer and this is in the shade medium tan this is supposed to be a bronzer but I think it's too light for my complexion to be a bronzer so I use this as a highlight and I'm gonna be using the julep fan brush to be applying this on the tops of my cheek. For the lips, I'm going to be using the Julep Lip Mousse. The matte lip mousse in the shade Ooh La La. So that is it for this look. I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. I think the lipstick is a little bit too pale for me. Um, I would probably use like a darker lip liner underneath, but since I'm in the process of moving, I don't know where anything is. <laughs> but yeah, so that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.